You see it? That is so pretty. Mm. Well, you don't look too shabby so yourself. Much. We're not going to do more yet. We have a couple other things we have to deal with. Well, I want to welcome everybody today. My name is Brian, and on behalf of Haley and Austin, I know they want to offer their gratitude to you uh, to get to celebrate today with people that they care about the most makes the day all that much more special. Brothers and sisters all the one and stand up so tall the world has never seen a thing like you. good to finally be here this day. It's been a long time um, coming and been looking forward to it for a long time. First off, I'd like to thank y'all all for coming out and also for all the help that we got renovating the barn. If any of you guys saw it before now, you'd realize like just how far this place has come. And we really want to thank all the friends and family that came out and gave time and money and food and everything else to really just make this happen. What's up? I heard Haley, so <laughs> it's beautiful. As long as I get to see Haley, I don't really care. I heard you're really nervous. No, I'm not. Yeah, Ben said you were getting pretty giddy. I'm very giddy right now. <laughs> okay, Austin, go ahead. Do you need both hands for this? No. Okay. Dear Haley. Wow, I can't believe that today is the day that I get to marry the love of my life. To Austin, the love of my life. It's crazy how the time flies when you're having a good time. I couldn't be happier to get to call you my wife. I love you so much. I love that no matter what I've done or mistakes that I've made, you're always right there beside me, giving me unconditional love, even when I least deserve it. You find a way to make me smile when I'm stressed or having a bad day, and you go along with all my crazy ideas and plans. And you always make me feel way cooler than I really am. <laughs> you have comforted me when I was down, picked me up when I couldn't go anymore. You know my insecurities and flaws, but still you choose to love me. I've been anticipating this day for a long time, and now it's happening. I can't wait to see you in what I'm sure is probably the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. I can't wait to say I do and declare my love for you to everyone. I can't wait to dance with you and probably trip all over myself. <laughs> God created a perfect man for me. He knew that I needed hugs to feel safe and that you give the best ones. He made you a hard worker and gave you the joy to put others first, no matter what you are in the middle of. I love everything about you, no matter what stage of life we are in. I promise that no matter where our lives take us, I will always be there by your side and love you no matter what. I have been praying for a husband and today my dreams are coming true. Thank you for loving me and opening my heart. You're my best friend and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. We can look? Oh. <laughs> Don't cry. What is so creepy. With these wide eyed dreams. So pretty. Thanks. It has pockets and bugs. Of course it apparently. has pockets. Yeah, it does. <laughs> You see it? That is so pretty. Are you excited? Just a little. Just a little. Maybe a whole lot. Yeah. Austin's name continued to arise and we were sure something was up. She announced he was coming to family dinner later on and I wasn't sure when you first arrived that day if this day ever would. A couple of weeks later, I was sure this day wouldn't come when you walked in on Mom, Mariah, and I discussing how if Haley ever were to get a proposal from you, she should turn it down. Austin, I commend you for your uphill battle that you have fought to get to this day. You, you both obviously said you love how much Austin loves Jesus, Haley, right? And Austin said that about you. But you know that you pursue Jesus first and pursue each other second. And you guys are going to have a relationship that is marked by this perfect bond of unity. Austin, you have picked a caring, funny, loving, and thoughtful bride, not to mention beautiful. 
Haley, it's, uh, I want to welcome you to our family. And even though it doesn't always seem like I like you very much, I do. I respect you. <laughs> so welcome from the Yoders, and I hope you feel welcome there. And as a family, we are so happy to welcome you in. If you could all join me in a toast to the happy and beautiful life together. Full of laughter and family, I wish you all the best, and I'm looking forward to competing to be the best aunt in the future. Cheers, guys. All you need to do is tell me to stay. And we don't have to wait for the end to come. Before we regain our faith. Before we learn how to love. I had her for a few years. You got her for the rest. You can repeat after me. Haley, I promise to love you. Haley, I promise to love you. To serve you. To serve you. And to lay down my life for you. And to lay down my life for you. Austin, I promise to love you. To serve you. To serve you. And to submit to you. And to submit to you. As the church submits to Christ. As the church submits to Christ. And to lay down my life for you. As Christ did for the church. As Christ did for the church. And gave his life for it. And gave his life for it. And follows his leadership. And follows his leadership. And nothing but death. And nothing but death. Will ever separate me from you. Will ever separate me from you. Excellent. <laughs> well, because you guys have placed your love and commitment in Jesus Christ first and toward each other as a minister of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. This is all